Now, being on a diet, it makes you think of starving and having to give up your favorite oh, foods. But this hungry girl <laughs> won't have any of that. Lisa Lillian is the author of The Hungry Girl Diet and You're Never Hungry. I was reading your book last night. Mm -hmm. You do not want to deprive anybody. No, not at all. What's I mean, the real difference between your diet and everybody else's? Well, the difference is a few differences here. One, Hungry Girl in the past I've only had really cookbooks. This is my first diet plan. And it took 10 years for me to come up with this plan that can make sure people are eating enough food and feeling full. There's no tricks. It's all about just eating all high volumes of food that are nutritious that make you feel satisfied. And the promise is 10 pounds in four weeks, which a lot of people think is not possible. Yeah, no, and that's conservative. We had a test group and a lot of people lost more than 10 pounds really? in four weeks. Yeah, mm -hmm. and oh eating tons of food like you see here. Well, and then we all know once you start eating better and losing weight, you're feeling better, you're working out more, everything works. You like what you see. Yeah. And yeah. you continue on yeah. the plan. 100%. And that's the goal. It's, a, it's rules and things you can live with the rest of your life. Yeah, change habits and then you change your life. Absolutely. So you have, a, this is an entire day's worth of food. Yeah, look how much food is here. It's a yes, lot of food. It's a lot of food. Okay. And starting, Walk us through it. Yeah, starting with breakfast, uh, this is what I call a growing oatmeal bowl. And the idea here is you <laughs> use old-fashioned oats, you use the, the regular amount of oatmeal, but you use twice as much liquid and you cook it for twice as long so it puffs up. Look at the amount of food. And okay. I do have to say that I'm, I've had a similar recipe like this that you had in Hunger Girl to the to max. The max. And exactly. it is extremely filling and delicious. Delicious. Yes. And there's some pumpkin in it for fiber. It is so good and it will keep you full for hours. What do you, oh, you add pumpkin to it? It's so good. Yes, it's something it, you would never even think of it. I mean, before I had never thought to put that, the pumpkin yeah, puree. Yeah, so mm -hmm. He's like, pumpkin, pumpkin's <laughs> magical. You know it's what, so you do have, it. as a dude, I looked at the pictures in your book and you have a lot of like things you Yeah, you add. like the centerfold, huh? No, yeah. <laughs> but you add Add stuff to food to that, volumize to it, volumize right? It. To make so it bigger, and like I'll show you some more. Meal. Exactly, okay, what's you get lunch? more bang for your calorie buck. Now, this is a huge turkey sandwich. It's four ounces of turkey, which is a lot. I don't know if you can see that. Yep. A little bit of light mayo on a high fiber flatbread bun with a lot of vegetables, and that's like a little recipe for dip. And look at all the food you get for lunch. What I like about this is that I don't like to deprive myself when other people are having a sandwich at lunch. I want a sandwich as well, but she I does. don't want all the calories. Big I'm a big eater. eater. I am. I'm not gonna lie. I am the same exact way. That's why the plan is devised the way it is, and that is a ton of food. Mm -hmm. And you get the yogurt too, huh? Well, the yogurt is what's used to make you the You did that? Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's delicious. Yeah, yeah but you can everything. eat yogurt if you want other times. Yeah. Yeah, I love Greek yogurt. It's in yeah. the plan, so yeah. don't, don't feel like you can't have the yogurt. Dinner. That is fettuccine Hungry Girl Fredo, and <laughs> it uses the magical tofu shirataki noodles. That bag of noodles only has 40 calories. The entire bag. That's life-changing. Wow. Really. So that fettuccine Hungry Girl Fredo, which is cheesy and creamy and loaded with veggies and chicken, only has about 350 calories for that huge bowl. A couple of quick questions. Is this expensive and can you find it everywhere? You can find it at most supermarkets where you find the tofu. It's not expensive and it's a fantastic life-changing product. This would last how long? This that, would be a couple oh, of meals, months. right? Well, no. Oh, you mean how yeah, That's yeah. one. That's one Come on. That's, that's 40 one. calories, That's 40 John. calories. Yes. And, but you know what? May we make a suggestion, though? <laughs> if you're going to try the shirataki noodles, I would just suggest rinsing them with water first. Yeah, right? well, there's because, instructions. You rinse yes. them and you have to dry them really well. Right. They get squishy, you have to use them a certain way, but once you master it, they will change your life. But you don't compromise on taste, John. I would love for you to try this recipe because well, it is just fork. as rich. It's try. just as Stick good. Your face in the right exactly, now. John. What's <laughs> stopping you from well, doing no, that? Yeah, you yeah. guys talk. I found the fork <laughs> over here. No, but don't that's, the thing, well, that's the thing with the side is that you want people to understand that you can still enjoy food, but it doesn't have to be as highly caloric. For sure. And, uh, and 350 calories of regular fettuccine Alfredo is a teeny tiny fraction of the size of that. So it, again, it's all about getting the most bang for your calorie buck. Okay, so now while he's eating, I'm a big snacker and Hold I... Hold on. Isn't that good? It's got a different little texture to it, a but tiny it tastes bit of texture. the same. Yeah, it mm -hmm. tastes the same. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And then you've added the chicken, right? Right. Yeah. Okay. You add a little protein. Keep and a, a lot of protein, yeah, lots yeah, yeah. of veg. So what are some um, what are some snacks that we can take along with us? Well, snacks that you can take along with you are always good, like you know, hundred calorie packs of almonds or whole fruits. I like to make some snacks at home because I'm a foodie and I like over there, you see that pizza bella? Yes. That's a pizza mm -hmm. that's made with a mushroom crust. Okay, I'm so gonna try this. So I one. love that oh, thing. Oh, that's and a mushroom. Calories. Right. It's a mushroom, so mm -hmm. you save a lot of carbs and a lot of calories. And on this diet, you get 300 calorie snacks a day. Wow. Those are butternut squash fries, so they're fries that you bake. You made these yourself? Mm. Yeah, of course so I made so them you, myself. You just you just cut them and cut make them, them like. 
bake them, and that's it. And then if you want to kill a chocolate craving, which I always want to do, Obsessed with Vita chocolate. Licious Vita Tops. I don't know if you know that product. Are these good? No, they're Amazing. Vita Licious. Really? 100 calories. They're all natural. They're loaded with fiber, and you find them at supermarkets in the frozen section. Mmm. Yep. What's here? And that's an ice cream bar with protein in it. Enlightened ice cream, again, it's another one of my life-changing products. It's about 70 calories a bar. Take a bite of that if you want. This okay, one? There's a peanut Not butter, the there's a out. chocolate. Okay. It is so good. Okay. Look at that. And mm. it's, it's high in protein. It's, it's all natural, too. Okay, now let's talk about you going on Facebook and talking to your fans, excuse me, <laughs> and you asked them to test the diet for you. Yes, a few months out, I wanted to find some testers to try it out. And I went onto Facebook, I have about a million fans on Facebook, and people were really excited to try it out. So how did it go? It went amazingly well. Okay. And I have someone here today who is like a you huge, have a, success story? a huge success story. I okay, so now this. wait, let's preface this. This person followed your plan for four weeks, right? Mm -hmm. And how many, how much weight did they lose? Well. She actually followed the plan for more, and that's the beauty of this plan. You can do it over and over. So okay. she's been on it for a few months, and she has lost just over 30 pounds. Whoa. Is this... Can we there she is. Oh, my God. Colleen. amazing. Thank you. Wow. You're, so let's give you the background. Colleen's a busy mother of two from Bayside, Queens. Right. Here she is before the Hungry Girl Diet. Let's take a picture. Wow. wow. You've been on the diet for three months? How has it been going for you? Look I love it. It's really doable, it's affordable, and it's realistic, and it's healthy. Well, look, can I ask about the timing? Because I think as a mother, time is not on your side. No. So how do you plan out your, your portions or, or your meals per day? Planning was an adjustment for me, and once you do the food shopping and follow the Hungry Girl diet um, food list, it really is doable wow. now let me have you persuaded the other people in your home the the the, the Come kids on in here. are she they awesome. Thank are they you. on board with some of these meals too they are my kids actually love the portobello pizza okay. that was really good and tasty i yeah. would imagine they like these treats they love the ice cream um instead of the french fries the squash fries are their favorite yeah i do begin every day with a warm glass of water and lemon that's, oh, that's the one thing. Yeah, that's the part of the yes. plan. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's part of the plan, mm -hmm. and it really does work. Yeah, but how do you? How do you feel seeing her success story? I, I mean, this has to be. I love it. I have to tell you, like, just talking to all the people who tested the diet, hearing how they had trouble, they were struggling, they hit a plateau, they couldn't lose weight, and this just changed their lives. And it really brings tears to my eyes every time I hear stories like wow. that. Well, now that you've lost thirty pounds, though, are you exercising more? Do you just feel I better am. from head to toe? I do. I feel a lot more confident, and uh, it's just excited to be with my kids and swim and not feel like, ah, I can't yeah. do this. 30 can enjoy life. I can enjoy life. It's significant. Yeah. That, that is great. amazing. It's a process. Wow. And I feel like I still have, like, some, you know, weight to Girl, go. Girl, you look good. You, you look great. Thank so, you. quickly before we go, what's the best tip that you can share for people viewing at home and who want to try the diet? I think people should not beat themselves up. A lot of times people get frustrated. Know that this is like a lifelong commitment. You have to really change your eating habits. Think about things that satisfy you and changes that you can make that you can live with forever. And I think this is a totally livable diet. Yeah, plan. it makes sense. You can adopt healthy habits. And I even starred one here, the, the green sipper. The green sipper. Oh, yeah. you like the green yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. So these are all good ideas. We'll uh, blend it up. Colleen, thank you so much for stopping <laughs> thank by. You. Congratulations. Thank you for having me. Good luck yes. with your continued journey. And Lisa Lillian, thanks for coming by the couch. And this is what the book looks like. And you can get her book, The Hungry Girl Diet. She's also going to be doing a book signing tonight, right? I am. Yeah, at uh, Wegmans in Woodbridge Township, New Jersey. New so. Jersey. Yeah. yeah. Right, Jersey. Wow. Show up there. Very yes. exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, you guys.